Hey friend, Brandon here. With so much of us spending time alone at home, I've been really longing to go to the theaters, but I mean, a bunch of us have different comfort levels of whether or not we go to the theater, or maybe we just don't have the option to go at all. I've been really wanting to upgrade my sound bar or my sound system from this guy right here. While many of us have a soundbar, it is still woefully insufficient for the movie theater experience, no matter what neat room tricks that it has. It's just not cutting it for me, especially when I have used this in a small room and now I have a much bigger room. And when you think about other 5.1 sound systems, they're a massive pain because you have all these wires you have to figure out and do you run them through walls or do you have them all exposed around on your floor and things like that. And then usually you have to have a really big receiver. If you're like me, you don't like poking holes in your walls and if you're renting you can't do that anyways. So conveniently Enclave Audio reached out to me to check out and sponsor Showcase and have me share some of my impressions of their Cinehome Pro which claims they have the benefits of a 5.1 THX certified sound system combined with the convenience of being wireless. I really hope that this does end up being that good because I'm going to be really excited if it is as good as it claims. Let's talk about it because this is Tech Today. Some of you have been around a while know that I am an audio engineer that has worked in live events for over a decade. So high quality audio is something that really matters to me. And then when you combine tech and convenience together with audio, I get really excited. Now, the issue with wireless audio is that oftentimes it takes the form of Bluetooth. And Bluetooth has issues with latency and most especially sound quality. Usually it just doesn't sound as good as something that is wired. So having something that is wireless usually brings a lot of concerns to me. But this has WISA technology, so that's wireless sound and audio. It's like a new standard. It's not like Wi-Fi per se, but it's much higher quality than Bluetooth. So the cool thing about WISA is it has one microsecond of delay. That's kind of crazy. And another benefit is that you have high quality audio that is able to be THX certified. And it also works for uh, DTS standards and a lot of Dolby standards. So as you can see, there are three longer bars here. Two of them go on the left and right in the front, and then one is your center channel. And then you have your two satellites, so it's a little bit smaller. Uh, it's meant to go behind you. We have two little areas that you can hang it on the wall, as well as a mounting screw area. And then for the power plug, you have two of these 90 degree right angle plugs that go in here like this, and then it just channels through with the bottom right here, so it's nice and clean. I really like that. And finally, this massive huge sub that's crazy but they all come in this nice little uh bag here so it's nice and then there's two boxes uh one of them has the cine hub in there so instead of having like a whole receiver you just have a little box so the actual build of the enclave cine home pro speakers is really quite nice it's pretty sturdy there's a metal grill on the front and everything and there are Quite a number of speakers in here. You can see there's some ports on the sides and then three in the middle. Along the back you see two areas where you can use screws to mount it as well as a little hanging wall bracket, a little power switch, a reset button, and then the little power plug. So that's all that's there. It's just one wire for power. Oh, and if you can see there there's a uh, two of the speakers. It looks like there's a woofer and a tweeter as well as a port. Now for the sub, this is an eight inch sub. Um, correction, that's a 10 inch subwoofer. Right here, and it has a nice little port down at the bottom. It's heavy. <laughs> it also has the same setup where you just have a power plug, a switch, and a reset button. I'm gonna put this down. <laughs> As for the Cinehub, it's just this tiny little thing that has a DCN for power. You have a micro USB for servicing it. There's an aux port and optical port, but the most important one is the HDMI port. You just plug it into the ARC HDMI port on your TV and it'll handle the rest there. So ideally it should be as simple as plugging it into your TV, plugging in all the speakers into power around your room, and then just syncing it up with the app, which I'll show you in a moment. Okay, so for the context of the room, I will probably put the sub over there in the corner and the right speaker and the left speaker right here. Over here, we have where one of the satellites will go. I already set up a speaker stand. Don't really like the stand that I got, but it'll do for now just to try everything out. And then over here, you can see a little bit behind the scenes of everything. There's another power outlet right here and I'm gonna put a speaker stand there as well. So it's a fairly large room, but uh, it should fill in quite well. Oh, 
So one thing to keep in mind in terms of your sub placement is to remember that sub frequencies are not as directional as you would think. And they actually will sound a little bit fuller or more present the further you are from the subwoofer. It's because of the way that the frequency waves work. They're a little bit uh, wider. So compared to something like the other speakers where it's more the higher frequencies or the mid frequencies where it's really directional and you can be really close to it, the sub, you can kind of put it anywhere else in the room and it will for the most part work really well. Conveniently, there's pretty much a power outlet every single spot that I need in my room. So there's a little blue light that starts blinking. Uh, that means it's looking for the Cinehub. It'll just keep doing that until it connects. And then you'll find that the two left or right uh, speakers have feet on the side rather than on the, uh, the wider end tree here. So I'm just gonna place it right here and then plug it in. All right, we set up the other side and we'll plug in the Cinehome hub. So you just plug in a power and an HDMI into the ARC port here. Most of the time your smart TV will recognize what the port is and then rename it on the inputs. And then now I'll set up the center speaker. You'll have the feet on the sides right here. And then we have these janky stands. Hopefully uh, I can find a better one if you have a good option or suggestion for me, let me know. But I just hang it on here. And now it's behind these two couches that I have right here. All right, we have the last one down here with the really cool 90 degree plug that's super convenient. Hang it. And then now we are good after we uh, do some cable management. Now that we have set up the actual speakers where we want them. We're going to set them up with the app. There's an Enclave remote app that you download from the app store and then uh, it'll just scan for your Cinehub, which it just shows up right here, Enclave audio, hit connect. And then you'll see all your different speakers here. You can even tap on each one of them uh, to see if it works. So my center channel just works and I can test out the right and left just by clicking on the actual speaker. You can see that it's highlighted in orange there. Now you can power on and off the speakers and it'll turn on and off the TV itself. So it's all controlled over the app itself. You can mute it as well. There's control for the volume and then you can choose what kind of input that you are utilizing. So there's optical, there's aux. You can even use Bluetooth. So if you want to connect your phone to it, you can do it that way. But we'll stick with HDMI because it's using the arc. It's all connected with the TV. You can control the volume with your remote. So you don't have to mess with any volume levels on the speakers themselves unless you want to uh, in the app for a little extra push. Now in the settings, if you click over here, you'll see that there are a variety of different options here. I like leaving the Dolby Pro logic mode on auto. Uh, the reason for that is you have the option of movie and music and it'll just automatically adjust depending on what you're actually using it for. And then uh, dynamic range mode, I would actually use maximum. The reason for that is those movies, the, the best part about the audio is the dynamic range. We were watching Jurassic Park and there's the moment when they're in the Jeep and you can just hear it's really quiet and you just hear the little droplets of the rain falling on the Jeep. So it's really quiet. And then when the Tyrannosaurus Rex or the T-Rex came in there and is like yelling, <laughs> it is crazy loud. So if you have the maximum range on that, it becomes really dramatic. Um, if you don't like that wide gamut or spread in terms of volume, you can use uh, standard or minimum to kind of like squish it so it compresses it a little bit. Dynamic range is an audio engineer's friend. We'll try that and then you can do whole room stereo. The thing with that though is you lose the whole 5.1 surround sound aspect. So if someone's like running behind you in the movie, uh, it doesn't sound as realistic in stereo. 5.1 will make it feel more immersive, like you will actually feel it wrap around you. Now one thing that's really cool is this room setup. It allows you to calibrate the distance of your speakers to your actual listening position. And that will help with different things like phase, if for those of you who know what that is. It allows you to make sure that the audio is reaching you at the same speed as all the other ones. So the funny thing about speakers is it's pumping out sound. What a concept, right? But the further a speaker is from you, the longer it takes for that sound to get to you. So I actually uh, have a variable distance between the two rear speakers for me. So I actually need to measure from that because the left speaker on my left on the back, that one will take longer for the audio to get to me than the one that's over uh, on my right side. So as long as I make sure that the measurements are accurate and uh, it compensates for that distance, the audio will reach me at the same time and will sound like it's in sync. If it's not in sync, you get into these weird phasey sounds. It can sound a little warbly. Now, another thing that I really like is speaker levels. This allows you to adjust the levels of your individual speakers as needed. Uh, one thing that you could do if you really want to have a ton of bass is to actually turn all the other speakers to negative six and turn your subwoofer all the way up to 
10 decibels up. That'll make it feel pretty rumbly. That is definitely something that you want to consider for your room. Uh, some rooms will just like hoard all of that, that low frequency and it'll sound really boomy and some rooms will just suck it up. So you need to crank it up. So if you actually want to see what the levels I have for my room in particular, this is it right here. Another thing that will show you on the screen is what sound protocol that it's using. Uh, so I have THX that works perfectly fine with my Chromecast Ultra. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's using Arc. So as a whole, I think uh, the setup of these speakers is really simple and easy. I like not having to worry with any of the cables or anything. And the app is pretty good. The one thing that I really wish it had is an equalizer. Even my old soundbar did have an equalizer. And as a sound engineer, I like tinkering a little bit. I like making sure that the sub is tuned exactly the way that I want because not every room is the same. It may sound a little bit more boomy in my room and it may sound completely fine in your room. Uh, so having an equalizer allows you to tune it specifically to the environment that you're in because no one room sounds the same. Apparently, uh Netflix has Dolby uh, Digital Plus. Across the whole system, the Cinehome Pro Cinehub Edition has 11 Class D amplifiers, 14 custom design drivers with a 10 inch subwoofer. Now, the sound quality of the speaker system is really quite an upgrade for my soundbar. The audio is really nice and clear, which really helps with making everything feel really immersive while watching a movie. And the sub at first felt a little bit underwhelming until I figured out the whole trick of turning down the other speakers and the sub all the way up. So that allowed me to have that floor rumbling experience that you get from the theaters, which is really awesome. So overall, I'm really impressed with how good the audio sounded. This was my first experience with Wiso technology. I looked into it a little bit more and found out that it supports 24-bit 48 kilohertz or 96 hertz signals and can support up to eight channels, which is typically at max a 7.1 system. It can also support Dolby Atmos, so that is something that could potentially come to the Cinehome Pro, but uh, you'll probably need more speakers to go above you. Thankfully, Wisa technology makes it really easy to drop in more speakers, so that might be a really cool thing if uh, Enclave wanted to have me try that out, you know. And for those of you who are wondering, the Cinehub is creating a wireless network with that Wisa technology, but it won't interfere with your Wi-Fi because it's at a different frequency. And despite it being wireless, I didn't feel like the speakers had a blanket on top of them like most Bluetooth speakers that lose that high-end air and the audio, and I didn't at any time feel like it sounded harsh. So I'm really impressed with the Wisa technology. This is definitely the future of home surround sound. Oh, so if you'd like to check out the Enclave Cinehome Pro, the first THX service home theater system, you can click the link down below in the description. Price at the time of filming is just under $1,600, but they have another option under $1,000 with the Cinehome 2 with Cinehub. So far, I'm a big fan of this upgrade, uh, especially from what I had. So thanks so much to Enclave Audio for sponsoring this showcase. And thanks to all of you who like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching This Is Tech Today, where I talk about the intersection of technology in our everyday lives, in business, and all things creative. Until next time. Wink, 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 wink. <laughs>